Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. This is where the fearless fear, where the merciless beg for mercy, and where the action just keeps on coming. It's brutal. It's barbaric. So, are we ready for Cornish? Do you want some extreme destruction? Just as well, because tonight, the big guns are out for gory glory in our All-Stars semi-finals. Yes, great, two magnificent semi-finals. They are the world champion Razor against Firestorm and Chaos 2 reigning British champion against the impressive Tornado. First up, though, a metal mayhem bulldog breed against Spirit of Nightmare against Judge Shredder. One goes through to our Annihilator later in the series. A taste of Teutonic Terror, German melee. Four robots there doing battle. A vengeance crunch, Blunderbird against Megamorph. They don't like each other. And then the main event, Raise of the World Champions against Firestorm. Chaos 2, can Tornado upset the odds? These are the very best of the best, the four survivors. Just look at Chaos 2, the flippability, and Tornado's power and push, and Firestorm, and of course, Razor. We'll see them in battle later. Yes, folks, not one, but two mega battles for tonight's double bill finale. But let's get cracking with the chaos. And what does everyone want to see first? I can't hear you! All right, calm down. Turn up set the bride. Let the wars begin! Only two places remain in our Annihilator later in the series. One of these will claim one of those places. Bulldog Breed or Spirit of Nightmare or Judge Shred. From Canuck, Bulldog Breed 3. I've sported in two previous wars. It's wedge-shaped with aluminium dual plate armour, 24-volt motor, a flipper and rear twin tail hardened spikes to give this Bulldog some real bite. We are the Press Gang team and this is Bulldog Breed 3 back in again this year with 100 kilos of fighting canine and we're going to kick some butt. Ah! From Colville, Spirit of Nightmare. This has a 70 centimetre wide pneumatic lifter with a ramming cone on the front edge, twin pneumatic pierces and four ramming spikes and watch for the underside design if it gets flipped, it's rather comical. Hi, I'm Nigel. Uh, this is Team Nightmare, me and Malcolm. This is our brand new robot, Spirit of Nightmare. We've got a flipper on the front, mincers on the side, and pierces at the back. And our middle name's Damage. From Colville, Leicestershire, Judge Shred, two and a half. Heavy weaponry with which the judge can mete out punishment, a 180 degree axe front flipper, and the body shell acts as a Sremek too. Hi, we're Judge Shred. This is a new robot, Judge Shred two and a half. I'm Paul Blakeman, this is Alan Blakeman, and this is Dave Cooley. Have a lot of power in the front flipper, new rear flipper, we're gonna do some serious damage. Roboteers, stand by. Judge Shred, they're not a little bit shaky coming into the arena for me. I wonder whether Alan Blakeman, the driver in the middle, will agree with me. Bulldog Breed with the Union Jack colours. And the dark spirit of nightmare. There they are in the booth together. Lee Summers on the left, 15 years of age, driving spirit of nightmare. And Tony Summerfield at the controls of Bulldog Breed. And our house robots in the arena, shunt. Watch for the pushing power. And the awesome dead metal. And problem with dead metal, poor maneuverability. Here we go then. Spirit of Nightmare on the left hand side. That's Judge Shred making his move. Spirit of Nightmare with an onward dash. Bulldog Breed coming in and then disappearing from the picture again. There it is, Bulldog Breed on the right hand side now. Been in Robot Wars before. 
Nightmare trying to get that flipper to work. It's a full width pneumatic lifter. Full 70 centimetres width of the machine. But it doesn't seem too mobile, does it, Spirit of Nightmare? This is a bit of a sluggish battle so far. Bulldog Breathe, the meat in the sandwich. Lovely logo on top. Great artistry here. As we've seen throughout Robot Wars Extreme, such loving, tender care goes into the machines, only to be roasted and pitted and spitted and steamed by our devilish roboteers. Oh, up it winked, judges, except Alan Blakeman in the middle of Carpenter and Joyner. Spirit of Nightmare, are they immobilised? Are they still? The Bulldog Breed team and Judge Shred still doing battle. There we can see the Spirit of Nightmare team, but I don't think there's much life left in them, neither does the ref, but he's counting them out. Nigel Padgett, Malcolm and Lee Summers. It's the end of Spirit of Nightmare. They fought in Robot Wars 4. They were defeated in the heat, and they're going out here now. First to fall in the mayhem, a shunt axes them, and Dead Metal pushes them and tries to claw them, leaving Judge Shred and Bulldog Breed to flip the judges up and over. Sensational stuff here. The Bulldog really got his teeth into Judge Shred. If you let the Bulldog off his lead, he will create mayhem in that arena. And again, the ref bot starts to count. And this time, it is the judges who will be sent down for a long, long time. Spirit of Nightmare, we know finish. And a little bit of fun now for Dead Metal. Lining him up on the arena floor flipper. It's going to be Spirit in the Sky any moment now. They were Crystal Palace Eagles fans we've just seen. Fly high, the Spirit of Nightmare. And there's the little logo. Who needs a Sremac? Well, you don't if you're wet shaped and you can bounce, but unfortunately, when you do that in defeat, it's too late. You don't really need a Sremac, you need just about anything you can get your hands on, Spirit of Nightmare. And there, the remnants of Judge Shred, the very underbelly by Shunt and now lifted. We know it's going to go down in the pit any moment now. Very good piece of driving skill by Tony Summerfield at the controls of Bulldog Bree to flick the judge as they did. Right it now, but too late. May well avoid the pit, but it doesn't matter. The judges, we have passed sentence on you. You are going down. Cease. Confirmation there, Bulldog Breed taking the fifth place in our Annihilator. Only one position to fill. 